You know, I've always wondered why Mother Earth puts up with us. Because if you look at it, we're the only species on the planet that actively causes her harm and goes against the way things are supposed to be. And oceans, for example, the further we keep going down into them, the more we're gonna probably find. And I just watched the Meg 2 and the same layer above the trench that keeps all those dangerous creatures down in the bottom of the sea, I feel like the earth has the same thing. And it's a safety precaution or more of a red button type situation that she has. Because if you look at the way the web is acting due to some of the things we're doing, it's like her herald, more of her horse horsemen that come and prep where one day she's just gonna unleash whatever is below the sea on us. And then not to mention the things that come from the sky. Because the ozone itself could have been a protective layer to keep out aliens from coming back and forth as easily as they seem to be doing now. And all of that makes me wonder why sometimes the planet lets us do what we do to her natural defenses against things that we don't understand or unlocking Pandora's box before it's time. So this was just me rambling at two o'clock in the morning because it's sometimes I can't sleep. And one way that I'm able to wear myself out is to be creative. So I'm up recording this right now. Because I was laying in bed wondering this very thing. Because within the story that I'm writing now, I was wondering if I want to implement something like this into the next chapter where the planet is fed up with us and she unleashes all of these different creatures onto us, but I would have to rewrite it in a way that fits into the universe that I'm planning. It definitely wouldn't work in this one, or maybe it actually would work in the story that I'm, did you see me drawing on screen? But I was thinking more of placing it in the alternate universe of the Ishin books that I showed in my previous studio vlog video, where the earth eventually unleashes her greatest weapon onto the planet.